So this morning we checked the aviation weather and it promises to be KVU, no chance of rain, beautiful, <clears throat> absolutely beautiful, another beautiful sunny day in the mid 60s, couldn't be better. Not too hot, not too cold, and I don't think there's a drop of wind blowing. We, get, we got killed for a couple of days with that high wind and we're going to head out with our 11 year old R1 with 30,000 miles and try to make it 31,000. <laughs> usually we get 100, 150 miles and then we got to get back and work on the farm and take care of business here. But every day I try to get a ride in and today it would be a sin not to get a ride if I missed it. And this is the kind of day it's going to be. Look at that blue sky. The wife out here reading her novel. What are we reading about today? Motorcycles? <laughs> reading my new cycle world? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not sure you can be more ready than we are. We are pre-flighted up. We are ready. Needless to say, spring and fall are the two best times of the year in this part of the country for riding. And today might be one of the premium days. So today we have our, our in, uninvited guests are the Gracadoolies, formerly known as Grackles. Everything's watered in. We've had our coffee. And all that's left is to get suited up and get out on the open road. Find some roads that are going to be... Well, they're all abandoned right now, but the further we get from our house, the better it is. Final check on any change of the weather. It is supposed to be an absolute fabulous day.
old trestle. I've never been down this road before, but that trestle looks, looks pretty old. I'm impressed. sun was in and out all day the clouds were up clouds were down got back and the sun is out and it's time to do some work in the garden now that area around Lake Apakong up in that way and up 699 there's some really nice back roads and we stumbled upon a couple of them today that old railroad trestle wow that thing looked like it was gonna fall that crash down but now it's the best time today of the day Karen is making lunch and coffee, of course. We're gonna sit out here and do some oogling. Yeah, it looks like the, that sky, that clouds were in and out all day, but it looks like we're back to having a sunny day. Now back at the farm while Karen's making lunch, I got, this is the new microphone for the, uh, the summer jacket. I got all new filtering material for the pond filters. I have to work on that this afternoon. And I got the ultrasonic thing that keeps pests out of your garden. You're going to have an exciting afternoon. So anytime I get back from a ride and there's mail, I like to see exactly what I got and make sure this is the right thing. Yes, it is. Okay, now this is something that's really, really nice. It, I've done a lot of sound testing with, well, this is an SJ6 camera. Maybe the GoPro is a little different. I don't know as we do the unboxing here, but these are about $15. 
and what I found is the best spot to mount it is right right about there so you pick up the sound from the muffler and this plugs in of course an SJ6 has a remote mic so if you have a camera that has a remote mic and you're shooting sound and you want to you want to hear that rumble of the engine or whatever you want to call it all right so that's the first thing of today's little adventure and I'll mount that up on a uh, another day we're not we're not ready to start wearing summer riding gear yet well but you never know and the other thing I got and this is this is a major thing my uh, fish filtering material was I guess getting old would be it's like me <laughs> getting old is the right word so I got myself an afternoon of work here and I've got that ultrasonic thing to figure out if it's going to work and yeah this is the good stuff this is the stuff you got to cut it to fit. I got two of them too. All summer, while that the pond is obviously uh, growing algae and everything, if you don't keep up with it and if you try to use some kind of cheap filtering material, what a mess! You wind up with ten times the amount of work. And this is really the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. I got my work cut out for me, but first we're going to have lunch and oogle. Oogle and lunch, and then we can go to work. Now with the new media in there, I'll bet it's going to do a good job of filtering. And you can see already, now I made this, this is a homemade filter I made over 20 years ago. And so far, so good. What happened, I went to a pond class to learn how to do a pond. And the guy tried to sell me a filter, pretty much a filter for this size. And it was over two thousand dollars so i of course made my own and it's worked fine over the years but the media does wear out that's for sure so for lunch today we'll be serving two cups of coffee two cups of coffee and a nice a nice 11 year old r1 ah, what could be better well what could be better is three cups of coffee <laughs> blue jay today oh, blue jay flew away Rackle's still here we have an eclectic mix of birds today so now that we got rid of the uh the groundhog we have this repeller that's supposed to get rid of all these these things with an ultrasonic we're going to go put this in the garden and see if well before we get another varmint eating all the karen's stuff so this is funny. Here's here's the uh, I want to give the guy a plug. Of course, looks like he's a small businessman. They send you a thing, but this is really funny. Now, you go down here and you read all the directions. It says, if if you still have animals after so many days, we go to stage two. <laughs> they put a turbocharger on this thing. I guess that's pretty funny. So with this thing installed in Karen's garden, it seems like. Uh, it covers five, five, uh, 52 feet, so I would guess it's, you know, it's like a Valentine radar detector <laughs> for animals. <laughs> anyway, that looks like it worked out pretty good. And we'll report back if it worked or not. So the only thing left today is to get the bike ready for tomorrow, get everything ready. It is supposed to be another beautiful day. Feed the fish again, and then the final objective of the day, sit out here and oogle away. Sort of way to stay played out. <clears throat> Karen's as happy as can be, her garden's cooking along, we got the animal repelling in, we have new filters, we got a ride on the R1, and we got this guy prepped up for tomorrow's ride. <sighs> I'm shot. I need two more cups of coffee, huh? maybe I'll be okay. Maybe three, I don't know. I wonder what the record is for drinking coffee. Maybe I already have it. Maybe I don't even have to. Maybe I'm going 300 miles an hour already. I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, as always, I want to thank the healthcare workers, healthcare heroes is the right word. I love riding around today with the R1 riding around. And we went through some, some new residential sections I have never been in before. And those signs are uh, they, they're just perfect. I just think that's a great thing to do. So, and I lived through 9-11 when everybody on our street had an American flag out right after 9-11. So this is pretty much the same thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.